Hey, hey, hey. Hello, everybody. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe we made that work. I am not at a desk and I am not I am not at the good stuff. I am not home. <laughs> I am in San Diego at a little store that Jordan has been working with to sell off their uh, hard goods because they're just they're converting their whole store to a different type of retail and so they got all this great great stuff to sell i've literally we got here like 15 minutes ago and i have been racing through the shelves a little bit to go oh my people will like that and they'll like that and they'll like that so we do have a little little bit of stuff pulled i did that and i sent pictures to melissa so that she'd have a chance to get a, a few things on the spreadsheet so uh, this is something new and exciting we're going to try here. Uh, what I'm going to do for the first part of this, I mean, maybe for, you know, about the first oh, 10 minutes or so, I'm going to show you all the stuff on the shelves because Jordan does whatnot sales from this location. When do you do those whatnot sales? Mondays or Fridays, or I don't really know what day because everything is switching around. I think so we're going to do on... We might do one on Monday. I was supposed to be home on Monday, but I don't know. You can go home. Okay, and you can do it by yourself? She's trying to get rid of me already. I would never. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> so we're not going to really do like a shop the shelves kind of thing just because lag is so bad. And uh, But this gives us a chance to go through the shelves. If there's something that really, really excites you guys, we will have time during the sale to pull it and bring it over and sell it for you. I'm, I, gotta, I haven't even seen everything yet, but I got to get over here to the little tchotchke shelves. So I'm just going to flip my camera around if I can figure that out on the fly. Whoops, that's not it. It's here and it's here and it's scrolling down to here and it's here. Yes, I did it. There we go. There we go. All right. Now, here's like the shelf I'm looking at. There are some really interesting things on this shelf. So, uh, you know, you can give a little shout. I'm not going to guarantee we can get it in the sale. But like the amethyst, I, I kind of know what you guys like too. I know you like amethyst. I know you like Yadro. And I do believe... Yes, it is. Well, we're going to throw a Yadro in there and we're going to throw some amethyst in there. I don't know. I think this is a little business card holder. We'll throw him in there too. Why not? I do. I need your hands. There we go. There we go. And we're going to do the amethyst. And let me see what else I can pull for you guys that I think. And of course, again, go ahead and tell me if you see something Exciting. Oh, there might be some little hermy, hermy crab shells in there. Oh, we got a little, little uh, brass peacock. We'll do him. I like to throw in some smaller items. Makes our shipping life just a little bit easier. Oh, I see an onyx fish. Look at this guy. Yeah, we'll sell him today. I see a geode with a little miner in it. That is super cute. We will sell that today. I'm trying to watch the comments and see. Um, nope, we are in San Diego. I call it San Diego proper. <laughs> Hillcrest, Hillcrest. Daryl's Modern Friends is the name of the store. Look at this really pretty soap dish. Look at that. All right. Um, oh, I see a stone elephant too all right I, I feel like we have enough things to get started i feel like we do again as i'm going by here oh we do have another one we can choice yay we can choices um oh my gosh there's so many cool things we will we will we'll come back and grab more now you've kind of had your little preview unfortunately my members did not get a preview this morning because you're seeing it as i'm seeing it Literally. Oh, you know what? We can choice the uh, serving pieces. 
that I already pulled out. I'll come back for some of this uh, Nippon and Noritake and the Lusterware and, and some of that as we go. Oh my gosh, there's like a whole box of Avon Cape Cod. Now there are some, there are some pieces of that that are still uh, pretty valuable. Oh, I just spotted something you guys are going to want me to sell. Unfortunately, there's only two of them, but oh yeah, that's a hot ticket right there. Oh, in a mid-century seahorse class, for sure. Okay, all right, see, our table now is full. These are like the goodies we're gonna sell. Hey, Melissa, uh, I cannot see the uh, moderator chat today at all, which I know could be a little bit of an issue, but uh, we're gonna go with it. <laughs> we're gonna, we're flying blind. Send me a message on, uh... Facebook Messenger and I can see it. Oh, add add Jordan into the, the mod did. group. I, I think they already did. Yeah, yeah. Melissa, if you can make sure that, that Jordan I'm is in that group. I'm calling it, baby. And she can see if there's anything pressing with the mods. All right. So, everyone, um, here, I'm going to have Jordan just hold this on me so I don't have to flip the camera around, but you can see me talking. Here we go. Uh, so the way this is going to work is just like any of my other live sales. I'm going to show you an item. We started at a dollar. We do a countdown. We will include just in case offers. We call them offers around here. Some might call them bids. We call them offers, you know, for technical reasons. Uh, <laughs> uh, so when we get into the countdown, if you've been participating, and you're worried that you're going to lose out on your item because of lag and all of that, never fear. Put in your just-in-case. It's like a proxy bid. You get charged $1 over what the last highest bid was. Unless we're over $50, then we're in $5 increments. And that counts in your just-in-case, too. Uh, let's see. If you want to test, I just looked over and saw something else. If you want to <laughs> test... Uh, how good or bad your lag time is. This is the time when I say this type now over in the chat. And I don't know if I'm pointing the right way. This way or this way? I think it's the other way. It's this way. That one. Okay, that one. <laughs> so all this time right now, I've already said it, but you haven't heard me say it yet. This is lag time. And not everyone's lag is created equal, but they should be showing up. Right about now-ish. We're seeing them? We're seeing them. Yes. We're okay. Because I can't see the chat You right cannot now. see the chat. I cannot see the well, chat. Well, I should have worn my gift shop you, done. You should have worn. That I stole from you. Your gift shop, get shop done merch. I should have. I should have. This is Niche Lady merch that is available on the Niche Lady channel. Millennial approved. <laughs> I know. I had to bring Jordan one. She really wanted one. Uh, it was actually designed by a millennial. That's probably why. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Misty's daughter, Emma, uh, designed this for me. And there's all different colors and stuff and all of that over there. Okay. Uh, we are getting some questions about who the owner, who owns these things. Do you have to buy them from the store? What's going on? So let's explain that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So I basically, let's just say I've thrifted, I've purchased, you're buying. That's how this works. <laughs> Yes, we are. We are just purchasing the things directly from them and reselling them to you guys. So That's we can give some works. context of the store and why I'm partnering with them too. This is a former. Oh, 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 oh! Hello, everyone. You're not wearing your cheese anymore. I'm. Oh, I forgot my. I forget my fun earrings every single time. <laughs> I have a spindle, darn it! Okay, yeah. Okay. Tell them the history so, of how this came about. I walked into the store because it's a thrift store next to my favorite thrift store in Hillcrest. And they told me that they are transitioning into a new store. They're no longer doing a thrift store. So they've had an estate sale clear out uh, business for years. And that's how they've acquired all of these wonderful goods. And they were selling them at a thrift store. But now they want to change their uh, revenue. Uh, their ventures and turn their store into a new stock. So all of this has to get gone because they're not a thrift store anymore. They want to sell only new things. So that's where all this is. There we go. That's it. All right. So I know there's a little confusion uh, for those who might be new to my sales, but it's going to work just like any of my other sales. I'm going to hold an item up. You'll know my moderators are going to tell you what item we're on. Now, what's super important is, is this showing me? Yes. Yeah. 
is you need to send an email to the niche lady at gmail.com if you've never purchased from me before if um if you maybe watched before but you've never sent that email you only have to ever send it once and so that is so after the sale i have a way to send you an invoice because i can't go back even if i click on your name and chat i have no information to contact you so that's why we do that we need your info in order to be able to allow you to purchase something so take a minute do that right now also if you're over watching on facebook we cannot take bids from Facebook. They have to be in the YouTube chat. So if you wanna just watch and hang out over on Facebook, that is totally fine. Uh, but if you think there's something you're gonna to wanna to buy, now's the time to jump over to YouTube and get into our live chat. And everyone make sure you're in live chat and not top chat, which is what YouTube likes to put you in for some unknown reason. Because they think they know better than all of us, but they don't. Okay, I think, are we ready? I think we're ready. We're ready to rock and roll. I really should right. have brought my tripod. You should have dropped. We're going to have tired hands by the time this is done. What are we doing? First thing first. Okay, so let me check in with my mods, mainly Melissa. Melissa, are you ready to rock and roll? Because Melissa is maintaining a very well-organized spreadsheet on the back end for us. So we know who buys what and for what price. And as soon as I get a thumbs up from Melissa, we will be good to go. Do, do, do. We, got we got Chelsea's going to call our solds today. I believe Christy is going to call our lots. And we've got Roylene is going to say who the winner is. And she's going to help. And Melissa's got a thumbs up. We're good to go. Let's start with something easy, just so everybody gets the swing of it. So let's let's just start with this beautiful little cobalt blue. You can use my... It's like a shot glass. I just want to start with something easy, fun, but yet beautiful. And remember, everything starts at $1, $1 increments. There are the seasoned veterans of my live sales who do like to throw in what we call power bids. And sometimes they just throw out their number. And then uh, usually when I see that, I'll start counting it down pretty quick. I will not be able to see if the emails came through. But if you got an auto responder, that means your email was received. All right. And Suzanne Haggerty's at $2. But Suzanne, I'm sorry, Tommy's at, at 2 You do not need to put the dollar sign in there. That can cost you precious, precious okay seconds oh it's got like a mark L. oh that is libby it's got the libby scripted l there we go hey deborah it's so is, good to see that, you that's a 35 or what it's just like their little maker serial mark oh uh, okay yeah interesting interesting i know all about libby glass because grant's family is from ohio and that's their only claim to flame Hey, Jamie, I got to shop with Jamie the other day. If you missed that video, that came out on was that my Thursday video? What day I think it? it was. I, I'm losing track of the days. Friday. We are at sale. Four dollars with still learning. Four dollars with still learning. Are we all in? All done? We're going to count it down. I don't have anybody to put the bids up on the screen like we normally do either because I can't do it from the phone. And I gave Rachel the day off. I know. Playing it wild. <laughs> all right, we're at. Four dollars going, nope, five dollars with Suzanne going once, going twice. Do you get to watch Jordan pack all the stuff? Well, well I'm going to be helping her, so we might be able to do some fun video we around can, that. We can go live on my channel. I, I feel like I feel like that might be a thing for my members. Oh, okay. I think we might do a little members only action in That'd there. I'm just saying. All right. And we're going to call it soul. It's gone. Where are we? Oh, yeah. That's for you to come up with a system Ooh. for us to do this. Okay. Uh, uh, down here? And okay. <laughs> she's trying to find <laughs> stuff in the middle. Yeah. Be really careful because I got stuff leaning on okay. there, too. Okay. Okay. Next. 
All right, sold to Suzanne Hegarty for $5. And that's how we do it, guys. That's how we do it. How about this really cool mid-century divided tray? I do believe that this is monkey pod. Is it marked? It's made in the Philippines. Usually these are monkey pod wood. They can be mid-century. I'm not sure this one is mid-century. It might be more like 70s. I'm getting a 70s vibe off of it. It's kind of cool. like. But it's it's this is like a heart. Yeah. A heart and then a bell pepper. A not heart and a bell pepper. I wonder, I wonder if original no, it wouldn't have originally originally had two and that was like I'm overthinking it. I overthink things a lot. Okay, it's old and it's wood and it's divided and it's really cool. It's kind of shiny. Do you see that kind of like shine that's picking up from the light? It is. Yeah, it's a nice, it's kinda nice like, wood. Yeah. It's in really good shape. A lot of times you find these and they're worn and scratched and all of that. But this one is not. Shape. Great for putting nuts in. It is. It's great. It's like great too for something where, yeah, like if you have nuts and then you have to put the shells someplace. So you could boop. Oh, I learned that. I learned what a nappy dish was the other day. You just like have you not been watching my videos? I explain what a nappy is a lot. I know what a nappy is. That's a, a baby diaper. No. <laughs> my goodness. We are at five dollars with garnet. Five is with garnet. All in, all done. We're going to count it down. This is when you would do a, a just in case if you wanted to. Because we are going once. Tommy is at six. We are going twice. And we are going to call it sold. And this is Scout's Honor that you guys have sent that email over because we need that. We need that in order to send you an invoice. We will probably get invoices out either tonight tomorrow. or tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. yeah. We'll be on the lookout within the next Yeah, the next, hours. you know, 24 to 48 hours, you'll get an invoice. All right. It looks like that went to Wanda Arnold is what I see. Okay. How about this really nice little basket? I don't know why I like this basket so much, um, but it's a really, really fine fiber. Uh, does it does have a Native American vibe to me, but I am no expert in Native American basketry. Uh, but here, hold on, stand by, stand by. Let me show you the inside. It's not like a coil. It's like this is how they started it here. So it's not a coil. It's a. I do believe this is some type of a a um, Southwest uh type of grass or fiber very similar to what the tahona odoms use like their sweet grass is what it what it reminds me of and it's just a nice little nice little basket what i miss what i miss what happened oh like an acorn shape on that last oh yeah yeah it does kind of yeah now that you say that now i see it now i'm looking over and i see it you're right okay <laughs> We're at $3 with Judy. $3 is with Judy. Anyone else? Anyone else? We're going once. I see five with Garnet. We're going twice. And we're going to call it sold. Now, unlike whatnot, where it's like instant, we got to wait for the lag to see if any other bids come in. You're you now? Oh, hello, Brenda. <laughs> Don't you hate managing multiple IDs? It, it, it kind of boggles my brain a little bit, all the uh, switching things that I have to do. You want to do a hot dog? Okay. All right, that's sold. And we are going on to this hot dog container. Now, let's look at the bottom. This looks like a hobby piece. Uh, it's fantastic. It was the first thing I pulled off the shelf, and I said, oh, oh, yes, oh, Is yes. Is a cookie jar, or would it's, you put your hot dogs in here? I, I don't feel like you should put your hot dogs what? in there. What? I feel like that's, no. Where else would you put your hot dogs? I don't know. Maybe, who, would you put your hot dogs in there? Anyway, uh, the mustard is everything. I do like the mustard. I just love the mustard. The bright color. You could put this on your counter and put whatever you want in There's it. There's no sauerkraut on it for you, though. There is no sauerkraut. I know. I would prefer some sauerkraut on there, but 
you know, what's a girl going to do? Whose hobby is amazing painting? Because that's not what my hobby pieces look like. <laughs> <laughs> Relish or onions for Anjo. Yeah. We've got $2 with Delane. $2. Nobody loves hot dogs more than $2. Come on. We're at $5 with Melissa. 10 with Lynn Tankersley. That's what I'm talking about. All right. We are now at $10. $10. Are we ready to count it down? We're going to go fast, you guys. We are at $10. Oh, you could put relish or sauerkraut oh, in it to serve your hot dog. Cool. Yeah, hey, yeah. You're calling me from Wyoming. That's, I have no idea who that oh, is. Oh, my. Wanda says she sold this for 20 bucks last year. All right. We're at 13 with Kathy, and we're going once. And we're going twice. And we're at 15 with Trina Hansen. And then I'm going to call it sold. And let's see if anything happens in the lag. You're pull, you're going away too soon because they're still oh, on this. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. still we're still there. Kathy put a just in case in. Oh my, little battle for the battle for the hot dog here at the end. There it is. Lynn Tankersley for the win at $18. All right, look at no, no, you're going out of order. I have the order here on my phone. If it helps. Oh, <laughs> you're asking for an order. Oh, you've got this coordinated. Ceramic dish with spring steam. Ceramic dish, this one. Mm. Well, you see, now we're not going to know. Sure, let's do it. But we're going to do this. Right. This is actually a Noritake plate. There's the Noritake mark. That's why I pulled it because it's a really beautiful little. Plate. Not try to. Oh, you know, I'm a master at handling things with, you know, one hand and exactly. <laughs> about like your driving does to me. Yeah. Okay. Um, this Great looks difference. very, very uh, Art Nouveau to me. Art Nouveau into Art Deco. It's kind of got both forms going. So mm, early 1900s, somewhere in the first two decades, I would put this piece. Very nice little flower pattern. But can we on the spreadsheet, can you make it say Noritake plate for me? Because I won't remember what a uh, spring scene dish was. Because my brain isn't that good. <laughs> what kind of flowers are those? Those aren't roses. What are those? No, and they look, I don't know. There's some, they're little open, pretty, blossomy flowers. Open, pretty, blossomy flowers. That's what they are. That's what the, that's the technical term. Indeed, indeed. And we are at $5 with PK Mom Life. It is Noritake, old piece. Has seen more years in this life than I have, for sure. Gardenias, maybe? I thought gardenias are white. All right, we're at $5, and we're going once. We're going twice. I think we have lag going. I think we have lag going. And we're going to call it sold. This is not the one that Star is referring to. She's referring to the previous piece. This is a 100-year-old piece of Noritake. I see Brenda at eight. Let's see what's happening in the lag. There we go. It is going to PK Mom Life for $9. Goodness gracious. Okay. What's supposed to be next? I don't know. Oh, that wasn't it. It was around the hot dog. That was around the hot dog. That was around the hot dog. <laughs> oh, we can't. We can't do that one because that's got to be a choice with something else, if, the, if that's what you were referring to. But we could choice these now if this is kind of what's on the spreadsheet. So we have the utensil holders, and we are going to choice these. This one is a Noritake. This one is a Noritake. Oh, good. One is a 
peach luster. It does have a little bit of, that's just the paint chipped on the, it's not a chip chip. It's what I like to refer to as a glaze chip because it just affects the paint. It doesn't affect the base piece. So we have the peach luster. If you can kind of put them in order, like for me to grab. I oh, from, have to see the entire spreadsheet. I don't know where the spreadsheet is. Oh, piece by piece. oh, 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 oh. Maybe if somebody gets a chance to tell Jordan a little. Of, a I can't share. Oh, 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 <laughs> Melissa. Yeah, you can share the spreadsheet link with Jordan so she can kind of help get things ready. That would be great. All right. Right. So these are the, you could use them as a glasses holder. Let's see how that would work. I can test that. I can test that for you right now. Are you going to be able to get it in there? Is yeah. It... Look. Oh. You hush. I'm not that blind. I'm kind of blind, but I did miss. Um, but we're going to choice these. And what that means is your offers are for one of them. And when you're the winner, you can take one or both. You just got to let us know at the end which one or ones you want. Super cool pieces. And if you are on Facebook, you have to come over to YouTube in order to purchase. All right. Spoons don't fit. The spoons would absolutely fit in these. These absolutely would fit a spoon. Yes. They fit spoons from days of old. From day Can you get your spoon out of there now? <laughs> We're at 15 with Giselle. 15 is where we're at for choice. Oh, napkin holder. I guess you could use them as a napkin holder. That is not what their original purpose was though. Because remember in the days when these were used, you used cloth napkins. You didn't use paper napkins. <laughs> You're such a smart Alec. Oh my goodness. These are for utensils. They are for utensils. They would have gone on the table and held the utensils. That's probably a little large. That is a serving spoon. Oh my gosh, you're killing me right now. We are at $17, $18. Susan, I don't think there is any exact price for these. It's one of the things that happens with the age of eBay is you see something recent that's sold and then everybody thinks that's the value. And that's only the value in the moment when that sold. It's, uh, it's one of the things that I really hate about eBay now is it doesn't take into account that people will sell things for far less than they are worth. And then eBay tells everybody that's what it's worth when that isn't truly what it's worth. It's kind of one of my things. All right, we are at $18 with Sandra. Yes, please don't put numbers in unless you are participating on an item. All right, we're going once. We're going twice. And we're going to call them. See, I cleared that off so you could put stuff on top of that. All right. They're waiting. I didn't say yet. I'm saying now, sold. <laughs> I just realized I squirreled over into the Which one's sold? Oh, I got no, don't do that. <laughs> you don't have bougie here to be hey, Oh I'm my gosh, are you my new bougie? Goodness gracious. And I'm just waiting to see who's our winner. Looks like Sandra Rochester. Sandra Rochester takes the peach one. All right, who's my backup? Who's my backup? My, I know, Chelsea. I, you can handle it, though. I know you can. And my backup was Lynn, and she takes the blue one. All right, that worked really good. What's my next item? That's a great question. It is a great question. And I don't have the answer because you're coordinating that. Oh, okay. So we've got, I don't know exactly what this is. I just thought, oh, that's really beautiful. 
it is um it's open on the bottom and it looks like it's got a thing for hanging I, I mean that's the best i can tell you i don't it's it's glass and it's green and it's well made it does have one little manufacturer bubble uh and there's a there's a few little bubbles makes me think it's like mexican blown glass they have 39 dollars on this little bad boy so I thought somebody here would know exactly what to do with this piece. Cause it, it was like one of the first things I grabbed on the shelf. Cause it just struck me as being so beautiful. Uh, <laughs> All right. It's got some weight to it. It does have some weight to it. Indeed. It is not a thin piece of glass by any stretch. You can see the thickness of the glass there. I don't know. What would you do? What would you do with this? I mean, I guess it, it could even sit like, like you, if you brace it and then it could put some flowers in it. Or I don't know. I'm making that up. It I don't like those fish glass. It does look a little bit like a bob. Yeah. Like a, a float. Maybe it is a float. I don't see a signature on it. Nope. Nope. And like I said, it's got like some manufacturer bubbles. So it, it wasn't meant to be like a high, high end piece, which I wonder if it is some type of a float. Hummingbird feeder missing. No, I don't think. I mean, you could make it that. You could turn it into that. Or a bell. I don't. Is there any interest? I'm not seeing any bids. Seeing lots of chatter about it. We will move on if there is no interest. Going, going. Pass. Okay, we're gonna pass that one. There we go. Uh, oh wait, June just came in at ten dollars. Oh. All right, so we'll bring it back. Hello. We'll bring it back for one more countdown. June is at 10. We are at $10 with June. And we are going once. Oh, you could put lights in it. That would be really pretty. Like little fairy lights? Yeah. Going twice. It would look cute with one of those like little uh, light displays. But... Could be. And we're going to call it sold oh and i just if if that holds out i get to take it home to brenda oh i have to ship something <laughs> they're saying some kind of a plant that hangs out the bottom maybe hmm. i did new brenda brenda winner winner all right what's my next item oh no i get to pick you get to pick i feel a duck coming on oh. Quackity quack 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 quackity quack quack. If you guys are eating in Hillcrest today, I've got a couple of suggestions for you. We're probably going to eat after this. Yeah. yeah, we're always down for food. <laughs> All right. I believe this guy is made in India. He has copper and brass on him. You can see, I think I'm trying to. Is he wood? I feel like he's wood. I think he's wood. Yes, he is painted wood with brass and copper overlay, I guess would be the technical term. His beak is also brass. His eyes are brass. And he is a cool piece that we are selling next. Would you have a chair, Mom? A chair would be fantastic. I'm sitting here crouched down on the floor just so I can stabilize my arm on the edge of this table. There we go. Oh, that's much, much better. Oh, she says, Cocina de Barrio, Breakfast Republic, Trust, Barrel, and Board. All yummy. All right. Duly noted. Duly noted. All right. We're at $10 with Brandy Hudson. 10 is with Brandy. Did she share the link? You probably have to go to your... Oh, no. She can just get the link, I think. Uh -huh. And share that with you. Oh, yeah, just share, copy the link and put it in the uh, messenger chat. Mm, no. The email message, not, not the YouTube messenger chat, our group chat. Or I'll send you an email right now. Yeah, it's better if it goes direct to you, like your email. 
All right. We are at $12 with Shallow. Only because it, then it goes out on Facebook, like, and I don't trust Facebook bottage. It's my personal little, it's none of you guys. You it's like your entire life on the internet. You don't trust Facebook. I don't, I don't, I don't give it access to my spreadsheets. <laughs> There is a giant lag. Oh, I know. I know. Tis the life I lead. I swear I'm going to get some merch made that says I hate lag. We just got to come up with some fun, like something around it, like a graphic. Because I feel like a lot of people could get behind that sentiment. All right. We are at $16 with Shiloh. And we are going once. He's a really cool piece. We are going twice and he is a duck. Okay, thank you, Christy. And we are gonna call him. Sold, lag is, oh, I could do something turtle related. Oh my gosh, I could. I could totally do, like somebody just suggested um, lag is a drag. Oh, no. And I could do something with a turtle dragging the word lag or something. I don't know. Right? Come on. That would be fun. That would be fun. Don't get negative connotations to how slow turtles are. Hey. I don't know if you watched my last uh, video where um, Hope was just like flying across the tank. No, she's putting something really good up front here. All right. It's on the list. You guys know what this is? Well, you saw me pull it off the shelf. This is a gorgeous piece of Yadro. There is your Yadro mark. 572232 are the numbers on the bottom. A-25S. Oh, I like this piece. I'm looking for damage. I'm not finding any. I think this piece is in really good shape. And I'm looking. I'm looking. No, this is a beautiful Yadro swan with babies. Yadro swan with babies. I'm going to have babies soon. It's almost springtime. Christy is saying that glass is a hummingbird feeder. The rubber cork with the metal feeder parts go on the bottom. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, that's cool. Those parts, I'm sure, are replaceable. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Lydia Fernandez is at 40. Lydia is at 40. And, I'm, and we're going on the honor system, guys. Please make sure you have emailed me your name as it appears in the chat, your real name if it is different. And your zip code. I need those three pieces of information in order to send you an invoice. All right. We are at $50. We're in $5 increments now. $50 with Francie Goins. $50 on the Yadro Swan and Babies. We are going once. I like the fairy light idea too. We are going twice. And we are going to call her sold. And Um, I'm just waiting on the lag, just like you guys. <laughs> Vicki, I have to take that as an actual amount. Um, oh, somebody came in otherwise. Uh, because you have to have been participating in order to use the just in case. I look back up. I didn't see one. If I missed it, I'm sorry. I didn't see one. But it looks like Lydia, Lydia Fernandez got it for $60. 
I see before Danny says it. I see sold before. Probably because Chelsea's lag is longer than yours. So Chelsea's putting it in when she hears me say it, which is not the same as for everybody. That's the difference because I'm not typing in the lag. Is this the Asian ceramic dish? Oh, spring scene? this is the spring scene. <laughs> I it was the goose because it's spring. This oh, is the spring scene. Okay. Spring that is scene. a pretty spring scene. That that describes it really well. This is also a Noritake. It I is... sold the winter scene of this in my last whatnot sale. Oh, did you really? Oh. All right. Noritake made in Japan. <laughs> Pretty little dish with a spring scene. Now we're doing the spring scene. And Ruth Melissa is going, yes. She must roll, she must roll her eyes at us so much behind the scenes. What do you see? I see a hamburger over there too. Oh, we the sold the hot dog. We oh, we surely must it. sell the hamburger too. Did you see the cheese plate? I did. I am not shipping that cheese plate though. Shh. <laughs> You sell that. You sell that on one of your sales, and you ship that bad boy. <laughs> little Ozzy waiting for little Hope to catch up to him, and Danny with Rachel. Yeah, we're gonna. We're maybe I'll do a little contest for uh, ideas for merch. I feel like I feel like that. You guys have such great ideas that we might we might do that. She says no eye rolling there. It's all it's perfectly fine. You have permission to eye roll. <laughs> Melissa, I would eye roll at me. So yeah, yeah, Jordan eye rolls at me all the time. Yes. Any interest in this? I'm kind of waiting on the lag. We're rolling. We're rolling. Anybody want the nice little Noritake? I thought you guys would like Noritake little dishes. Perhaps I was wrong today. Happy Friday, Judy. You know what, happens when we're wrong? what happens when we we're pivot. wrong? We pivot and turn and pivot. yes, and flex and grow. And bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah, that's what we do. Kathy, is that 13 on this dish? Can you just verify? So I, in case you're lagging, we don't want to make, we don't want it to be for like a previous thing. I am not lagging, guys. I am not lagging. It's impossible for me to lag. It's it's simply impossible because I'm actually the one in real time streaming. So I I can't lag. It's not me. I would argue your brain lags a little. Well, bit. my brain does lag, but <laughs> but it's always always on the receiving end where you have lag. Could the chat be lagging? So so the that's the reason is because it hasn't caught up in the chat yet. So can my chat lag? My chat can lag. Yes, it can. You see the bids before I do. I don't see any bids yet on this piece. Well, I did, but I needed I just needed to verify that it was for this piece. Kathy, did you verify? Is it? Yes, she said yes. Okay, now I see it. Sometimes I don't read them right when you guys put them over there. Also, um, just because it's a little, it's a little hard to follow both things. But we are going once. Yes, Brownbird. I send my invoices out via PayPal. So if you want to use PayPal to pay, you can. But you don't have to have a PayPal account to pay. You can use any credit, debit, anything you would use in an online venue to pay. Going twice. And we're going to call it sold. It's so weird for me not to be on screen. Normally I'm, all, I'm on screen looking at you guys, but this is the way this works today. Porcelain creamer with flowers, tan. Porcelain creamer with this one? Oh, maybe. I think so. I feel like Are this flowers? it's, it's not, not flowers, but she might not have seen that that was what it was. Is it red? I don't know. 
Stand by. Thank you all for showing up on my fun little adventure today. Is this the one you are referring to? It's actually a uh, fruit. Oh. It's fruit. I guess there's some flowers there too. It's like a still life little creamer. A little bit of wear on the handle. I actually love that because that tells me this piece was actually used and loved because that's what happens over time, right? You put your thumb there. So of course the paint's going to wear off. So this was a loved piece and it is also, I believe, a Noritake. It doesn't say Noritake. I feel like that is a Noritake mark. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but it is Japan nonetheless. But a beautiful little well-used piece with no chips or cracks, just a little wear to the gold on the handle, which tells you this has set on many, probably a breakfast table and overheard the plans for the day of somebody nearly a hundred years ago. Is it for like syrup or oh, creamer? We already it's a creamer. Yeah. Yeah. Just think about that. A conversation over the breakfast table a hundred years ago. This little piece has heard it. If creamers could talk. If creamers could talk. We're at $5 with Tommy, $6 with Kelly. And don't forget, you can qualify for a free shipping credit up to $15 if you are a member of the Niche Nation. Tommy is at eight. Tommy says, I'm going to get that story out of that creamer. I'm going to do it. I believe you. It's going to tell me. All right. We're at $8 going once. Going twice. And we're going to call it. So. Okay. Is there anything like. Oh, you? Hi, yeah. that's me. That's me. That's me. Jordan, crack me up. Oh, this kind of matches the little tray that we sold before. But stand by. I don't know that I've seen the sold come through on the first one yet. Hold on. Yeah, my bad. That's my bad. Wow. It's hard. It's hard to do this from a phone. Let me tell you. Especially with the chat lagging. On Mythbusters, they actually recorded on a ceramic plate as it was being thrown. Well, there's a nice little factoid. <laughs> All right, there's the sold. Chelsea, maybe uh, give a refresh because your your lag is super long right now. Um, that went to Judy L for ten dollars. Okay, we're good now. All right. Next item is the little uh, monkey pod, I believe. This matches the tray that we just sold. So this is a piece with a lid. Again, it's a really, really nice shape. No marks on the back. That sticker probably said made in the Philippines, just like the other one did. A little tiny bit of wear on the underside of the lid on that one, but how cool is that? I know I was resting my arm. You're going to have to take over some camera work or I won't make it. <laughs> oh boy. I'm getting old. But yes, beautiful, beautiful piece. I don't know. It kind of looks like a tomato. All right. Did I just spoil it for everybody? You don't want it to look like a tomato. Okay. It doesn't look like a tomato. It looks like a, whatever you want it to look like. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, Brandy's at 12. Oops, sorry, guys, not trying to make you dizzy. Shiloh is at 16. A pumpkin, a pumpkin. It could look like a pumpkin. There we go. It could look like a nut, a Kaiser bun. See, I like to get you guys going on the whole, what do you see? <laughs> She's pulling stuff off the shelf and I'm like, I don't want to ship that. <laughs> cause, cause see, here's the thing. She's going to keep selling stuff from this room on her whatnot. So, um, I'm taking it easy on myself this weekend <laughs> in the shipping department. 
acorn squash. I got you. All right, we're at eighteen dollars with Francie, and we are going once. And we are going twice. Hey, Grammy K. And we are going to call it sold. Oh, one of my Facebook peeps says a smashed pumpkin, a Hershey's kiss. It's like showing somebody a cloud, you know, and say, what do you see? <gasps> I need to buy that from them. Okay. Well, I need that really bad. I don't know what that is. There's a hundred things Ooh, on that shelf. It's a hanger holder. I, I, I just oh, looked goodness. over and I spotted the hanger holder. Oh, we need that so bad. Yes, I squirrel. I squirrel. Do you think that's gonna work? I, I don't. I do think this is gonna work. Oh my God, no! Give me the. Give me the. Give me the you're scaring me. You're trust, scaring me. Trust. I don't trust you. Trust. Oh, oh! But now we can't pick it up and like you know. Show. Okay. I wish you guys could see what she's doing this on. Ah! But I can't read the chat now. This you is. You can't even go on this side. Oh, good lord, child! I'm not writ. No, this is that's not better. That's not no, it's not better. Oh my goodness. It's not better. <laughs> nice try though. This is this is what she's trying to get me to like this is use. Ingenuity. It is, but I can't see the chat. All right. Did we get a sold on that? Oh, I see I got new members to the niche nation. Sorry I missed you. Stephanie Elizabeth Taylor. And who else? Who else? Let's see if it's gonna show me if I scroll back up. Darn it. I hate when I miss that. I want to give you a proper welcome. Oh, who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Oh, and Moon Flipper. Welcome, welcome, you guys. Thank you for joining. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, did I miss the though? Did I I missed I totally missed the soul do. Oh goodness, this is hard. This is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to use a pot. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get caught up on this. Oh, wait. I had Grammy K had a $30 just in case makes it $27 to Grammy K. Okay. We got this. We got this. What's my next item? Uh, the thing right next to it. It's, it's yeah. something. What? <laughs> I don't know. Flat lay. I think it's this. Oh, oh my, oh, it's a, I think it's a basket. Uh, oh, is it? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't even know. I just pulled this off the shelf. Let's see what this is. Oh, look at that. It's a basket. It's one of those unfolding oh. baskets. That's what I thought it was. Okay, move this, because this is just in my way now. Because <laughs> I have to maneuver. But see, it lays down flat or it stands up. That's kind of a really cool piece. It's kind of really cool. She's over here just trying to. Oh, we're gonna get the finagle thing. We're gonna get it. Wooden sunflower laser cut basket. I I love it. I love it. That's it. It is really neat. So how does it? Twist? You just lay it down to oh, hold. Oh, twist and it twists. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Oh. Spring loading. I don't know how they do it, but it feels like yeah, it's little. It's just cool. It yeah. Cool. Usually I see them in like fruit shapes. I, I don't think I've ever seen one that's a flower, like a big old flower. All right. We are at $11 with Peg. I'm, I'm, I'm okay because I can rest my arm on the table. So I, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. No, I won't be able to see the chat. The problem is being able to see the chat and have the phone rested on anything. We're at $15 with Peachy Me. 15 is with Peachy Me. Nope, 17 is with Kathy. 17 is with Kathy. Are we all in all done? We're going to say going once. Going twice. You know what we need to find? We need to find something that we're going to put all this stuff in to take it home. Oh, I forgot the 50 bins. Because are we shipping it at home? Yeah. Yeah. So there's something that we can. Yeah. Okay. But you could kind of like, as we're selling it, be packing it up and we can do that. Oh. So that, yeah. Oh. I just started thinking as I watched the pile grow over there. Oh. Yeah. Did I say going twice? I don't know. 
I don't know what I said. Where did I leave it, guys? Because my brain squirreled. I don't even know. I might have said the S word even. Somebody help me. Are the mods are the mods telling you what I said? No. Help my brain. Help my brain. You know what? You I love you. I said going twice. Okay, but I didn't say the S word yet. So now I'm going to say sold. <laughs> now I have officially said the S word. What S word did you guys think? Come on. Oh, they're way over there. Okay, I'm going to go to them. I'm going to go to them because there's too many to move. All right, let's move some stuff out of the way here. Sorry. Hold on. Stand by. We are going to do choice on all the little Amish people. These, they're gonna, I'm going to sell them in pairs. So these are little shelf sitters that are made by Holland Mold. Okay. There's one choice. The rest, I believe, are all cast iron. These are standing cast iron children a boy and a girl. And then we have this sitting cast iron children. They're sitting on a little bench. So you get the little miniature bench and the little sitting children. Then we have the couple that is in rocking chairs and they are salt and pepper shakers. And the chairs are salt and pepper shakers too. So I'm, I, apparently you get you get two salt and two pepper because the chairs and the people are both shakers. Well, they're, they're Amish. They're not shakers. You get what I mean. Okay. And then we have this larger couple. I don't see any marks, but they are definitely all cast iron. And those are your choices. The only ones that are not cast iron are the Holland molds. And we are at five dollars welcome janet s thank you for joining the niche nation i'm trying to pay attention here all right this is a choice your offer amount is for one set of these cool guys francie just confirmed that's a power bid on the amish lot just so we make sure you're on this particular lot Apparently so, because Nanny Redwork, pardon my finger, Nanny Redwork is at 20 and Francie's back at 26. All right, all right. Just needed to confirm as I count down going once. Going twice. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And we're going to call it sold. I have nothing to drink. I meant to bring a Dr. Pepper and I forgot, totally forgot. It's funny how you get out of your normal routines and your element. You just don't do things the way you normally would. I just spotted something really cool as I'm down here on the floor. Really super cool. All right, Francie Goins, which one or ones would you like? Which set or sets would you like, I should say? And then, oh, I'm sorry, Lydia, you came in right after the sold. Um, before that then would be Nanny Redwork, but then uh, I will I will probably come back to you and give you a choice, Lydia, in, unless Francie takes them all. Salt and pepper and the shelf sitters. Uh, the shelves, the lar these sh large shelf, shelf sitter ones. And then the salt and peppers. Is that what you take? Just confirm, I'm gonna have Jordan pull them over. Because I only have two hands. So I think she takes these sets. Okay. 
These and these. Okay. Are we confirmed? We're confirmed. Them? I believe we're confirmed. Confirmed. Get out of here. All right. So, yes, she said yes. So, who did I say was next? Um, Nanny Redwork, did you want one of these sets? And if Nanny doesn't, Lydia, uh, would you like one of these sets? I have to wait for the crazy, crazy lag. Oh, we got efficiency going on. What's been going on? What's been going on? 30 minutes left on the parking Oh, we got to go put more money in the parking meter. <laughs> Welcome to San Diego. Is my chat really... Do, 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 do. My 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 chat is like really frozen because nobody said anything. Oh no, I see it now. Nanny says the standing parents and the kids. Sta the, so the standing and the standing. You got it. You got the whole family. All right. Was anyone interested in the sitting children on the bench? I've got. Whoop! I just knocked. Do you see me knock him over? How how mean of me. So I've got the sitting children on the bench and I will pretty much open this up to anybody who's interested. Was there anyone else interested? We can't blame, we can, can we blame the lag for the parking meter? Uh, we could try, but I don't think it would fly. <laughs> Suzanne, I'm not sure what, you're putting that in for i'm just seeing if anybody was interested because we've already we've already auctioned them off was anybody interested in this set it's a really cool set they're sitting on a little cast iron bench if not we're going to move it along let me go back to where i can oh sit i need the next item Oh, Trina? Trina wants them? You got it, Trina. You got the children on the bench. The bench itself is like really cool. All right. Sorry, sorry. And Melissa, I'll give you a little scan of the table so you can see some things I've added that uh, may not have been noted before. White, blue, brown, ceramic, base. White. Is this the bird one? Blue, yes, probably. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's sitting again. So this will be our next item. You used to pay a homeless guy to feed the meters at work. I mean, never missed a day. How cool is that? So there are actually birds on this little porcelain vase. That looks to me like it had a Japan sticker on the bottom, but who knows? Who knows? It has a little bit of a raised enameling design. The bird, birds, birds go all the way around. It's the same birds. They just go all the way around like so. I think this possibly may have had like a ginger jar lid at some point in its life, but it works really well as a standalone vase. I just talked about that in uh, a video recently where there was a piece that really looked like it needed the top piece and so I left it. But if it looks like it could go either way, I'll pick those up and sell them because they're very, very functional and usable, so. All right, we're at $7 with Shiloh. Seven is with Shiloh. It is really, really pretty. And I, I, I would wager to guess it is from Japan. It, it has a Japan feelsy to it to me from others that I've picked up. We're at $8 with Sandra. Are you clothes shopping? No. You are clothes shopping. Look. Well, look for cute things for me too. 
use some of these clothes to wrap up the items. Well, and clothes shop in, in the process. Yeah. I like how you think. You're smart. You're a smart girl. Daughter. You are my daughter. I'm proud of you. All right. We're at $11 with Shiloh. Let's count it down. Going once. Going twice. And we're going to call it sold. I think that actually is brilliant of you, Jordan. Very brilliant. I don't know how you get down on the concrete floor, though. Yeah, I don't know how you do that. You will regret it. And I don't know what the next item is now. <laughs> All right, Grammy K, it's yours for 17. 17 to Grammy K. I'm still with the vase. TV is Yadro. Oh, well, the TV is like way behind. Interesting. I don't know what somebody's got to tell me what's next. I don't know. I don't know what my phone is. Uh, you lost your phone? It's like in the charger somewhere. Over there. It's over there. She is young. I am not that young. She doesn't feel like she's young. Next up, we have quite a few candles. Oh, I see it. Oh, this is an interesting piece. It is very, very definitely uh, Japanese. Here's the marks on the bottom. I feel like this is a super old piece too. Look at that crazing. Look at this little mark right here. I don't know what that mark means. Uh, it's got a beautiful scene, almost a flow blue going with it. I'll show you the edge in a moment. Look at the, it's not super flow. But there's some flow going to the blue. Lots of crazing, as you would expect in a piece this age. This one, this one's got some years on it. It's got some years on it. That's all I really know about it. I would suspect it's hand painted because that's how they did things back then. I don't know what the scene depicts. They have. I don't know. It's like a, I don't know. Okay, I'm like trying to figure out, like, it looks like a cactus. It looks like she's carrying a cactus, but I'm sure that's not what that is. I don't know. The handle has a line. No, it's not broken. It's got a painted line through it. It's got a gold painted line. It is not broken. Nope. I see no chips, no cracks on this piece. A little tiny bit of fading on the gold edge, which is pretty typical. Other than that, it's in good shape. Your mother had the whole set? Oh. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh my goodness. Uh, there's so many comments coming through that pertain to things that happened a long time ago. It, it gets a little rough. It gets a little rough in the chat. Oh, Wanda, Wanda Arnold. Um, can you see what uh, Christy's asking of you just to make sure that we have the right information for you? Back in the 60s, they were already vintage, for sure. Yep, absolutely. I am only seeing $5 on this beautiful old piece. Are we at $5 with Tammy? Thank you, Wanda. Nope, we had $10 with Francie. We are at $10. It's really hard when I don't have Rachel putting the bids on the screen. We are at $10 with Francie. $12 with June, 
12 is with June. We're going to say going once. We're going to say going twice. And we're going to say sold. What's my next item? Good question. The next item is the fourth corresponding agent. Gotcha. And the winner is Stephanie Elizabeth Taylor. Stephanie Elizabeth Taylor. Thank you so much. That's a beautiful piece. Wait till you get it. That's the cool thing, you know, when the quality of the video is not the greatest, then you get the items and you go, oh, wow, I got a super good deal on that, didn't I? And you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. All right. We are going to choice these beautiful dishes. I believe they are all Noritake. I will double check. I believe they are all Noritake, but they are celery dishes. And we have, let's see. Yes. Noritake on the peach luster. Uh, this is a scene with a lighthouse. Yep, we got Noritake on that one. And then this piece actually has celery. And that is also Noritake. So they are all Noritake with different scenes. So you have the celery and the olives, the lighthouse, and the peach. And this is a choice lot choice on the three celery dishes. Jordan said she had a super large platter for me to sell today. She's a funny girl. She's a very funny girl. Nope, she'll be selling that in her whatnot on Monday. So there. Or maybe we'll do her whatnot on Sunday so that I could actually help her with it. Maybe. That's a possibility. Okay, well, we can It'll be a, a pop-up whatnot. I forget, this is only Friday. It is only Friday. All right, we are at $15 with Judy L. This is for choice. 16 is with June. And we are going once. We are going twice. Be ready with your choice if you are the winner or runner-up, as we call this item, sold. She is just Jordan Things on whatnot, and I'm sure Melissa will pop the link over in the chat at some point here. All right, Judy L. No, Stephanie Elizabeth Taylor snuck in there at $21. Stephanie Elizabeth Taylor, which one or ones would you like? You get first choice, and then right behind you would be Judy L for second choice. Thank you, Melissa. If you've not yet signed up for Whatnot, we'll also post a link that gets you $15 to come over and spend on Whatnot. We are just waiting to hear Stephanie's choice. The two on the left takes the two on the left. That would be the lighthouse and the celery. All right, my backup, do you want the peach luster? And that would be Judy L. And if Judy L doesn't take it, PJ would be next in line. Oh, I'm slated to have a whatnot sale tomorrow night. That may not happen. That may not happen, Melissa. Judy L takes the peach luster. All right, those are gone. Next item. 
Oh, why do I feel like we already sold that? I feel oh, the like we already sold that. And this one has to go back because it's Aww. it's got a boo-boo. Is it the Starbucks mug she's talking about? Oh, Melissa, is this is this what you were seeing? So there's two of them. Yeah, I know. Let me just get confirmation that this is what she was seeing. I don't know. I'm I'm really trying to make this time away a little bit more relaxing than my normal times away. So the pressure of, uh, you know, having to do a sale, but for now it's up there. We'll see. I may reschedule it. I may reschedule it. Okay. Yeah. Cause I actually haven't found stuff to sell yet. All right. So this is actually, you can change the description. This is a set of stacking Starbucks mugs. They are Starbucks mugs uh 2014 and i don't know what that writing in there means the 0308 that is the so this is the uh oh gosh i knew this i knew this this is three out of eight. Oh, it's three out of eight oh because there's a there's eight in the series yeah so there are different locations so this is a very limited yeah series, I have the blue one you can only get them at specific starbucks's in specific locations and so i had two and it was blue and so they do ah. like a different the different set of these i think this was back in oh gosh five years ago what year gotcha gotcha all right we're gonna sell them together you're gonna get both of the stacking, and I don't see too many stacking Starbucks mugs. That's kind of an unusual feature for Starbucks mugs, I think. Uh, usually they're just a standalone mug. And we do have more Starbucks mugs in today's sale as well. But we're gonna sell this pair right here, and we are at $5. We're at $6, no, we are at $10. We're at $10 with Karen. $10 is with Karen Leavitt, or is it Levitt? Did I say that wrong? Here, leave it. 11 is with Peg. Yeah, because like she's never heard that. Well, that's like, the, there's a TikTok today I saw where it's like the dog, you know, saying like, my parents really don't know my name, but they call me sit, no, down. And, <laughs> and leave it. <laughs> We're at 15 with Michelle Foster. They look vintage and Dutch modern, but they are Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. That was I, their whole kind of... I don't know what state it is. I don't know. It doesn't say. It's not a particular state. They were just only sold in... Oh, they were only sold in particular locations. Yeah. All right. We're at $15 going once. You're supposed to be over here packing this stuff up. I... You were supposed to be looking for clothing... To pack this stuff up. You're squirreling. You're so squirreling. You are so my daughter. Going twice. And we're going to call them. So. It's just that I'm going to run out of room to move them over in a little bit. And I don't even know what the next item is. Either. Oh, it's more Starbucks mugs. Oh boy. Okay. All, All right. Are we doing choice on them? Yes. We're going to oh. choice. Mikey bags of money in the house. Hi, okay. What is making my whatnot the other day? That was very exciting. What, what is that little emoji thing you got there? What is that? Is that a, is it on oh, my screen is so tiny. It looks like it's just a little brown blob. All right. We are going to do a choice on Starbucks mugs. And we have, oh, oops, this one's got a boo boo. Never mind. Denver. Denver's got a boo boo. Oh, Denver. How dare. Rocky Mountain hash. Uh, is, this, is this Starbucks? No, this is not. Okay, we got three. We got three. Unfortunately, one had a boo boo. So we're going to choice. There's a San Diego. This is the. 2007 this is the 2012 
And then there's a London that is 2010. So the blue San Diego, the regular San Diego, and the London are the choices. Oh, they are squirrels. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All righty then. This is choice on the Starbucks. Tommy starting it off at three. Cat's back in at five. This is for choice. Denver's boo boo is their choice in quarterback. <laughs> oh, now, now. <laughs> Ruth is at six. I did, Lorraine. I did indeed. I was thinking that there's a London song, like London calling, but that's all the words I know. <laughs> and it's not a very good tune. Ten dollars is with Kelly. We're not sure yet. We're not sure what all is going to be in the sale yet. It's, we're we're still putting stuff on the table. No, right now. <laughs> She's over there shopping the shelves as we speak. Oh, it's so cute. I feel like we should maybe put a mystery lot together. Yeah, I feel like we'll do that as our finale today. We'll, we'll mystery lot it. London Bridge is falling down. No. She's, she's like saying, no, I know, that's not. Oh, ow, werewolves of London. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, we're at $15 with Francie, and we're going once. And we're going twice. And we are going to call it sold. I've got to cover what everybody's thinking. <laughs> Whether Jordan approves or not. What? What do I approve? What do I approve of? My singing. Oh. Yeah. I see you, Matthews Vintiques. Oh. Uh-oh. No, I think it's... Thank you, Matthew. That goes with the plate that I have at home. Oh. Okay. All right. First choice, Cat Neal. Cat Neal. Which one or ones would you like? Hello, this overstuffed house. See, she's putting stuff on the table as we speak. How many storage units of stuff do they still have? Three. Three storage units of stuff is still to sell in this little endeavor. Yeah. We got, we got one. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I forgot. You did forget, didn't you? I didn't go off yet. I didn't have a there. Parking meter covered. All right, I'm waiting for Cat's choice. And second choice will go to. Uh oh, see, I get everybody talking and then I got to find things. Francie, Francie gets second choice. Takes the London, takes the London. Francie, do you want either of the San Diego's? We will. Yeah, Moon Flipper. We'll do some kind of a joint whatnot. I'm not sure what that looks like. Oh, you know what? There is the capability of us both being on at the same time. We're going to figure that out. We're going we're gonna to pursue this new technology and see how crazy we can make it. Sure, why not? Says no. Was anybody interested in San Diego's? Anybody interested in San Diego's? Should I run these again? Because you guys were all after London. What if I sold them together? How about if I do the pair of the San Diego's and let's just start them over. 
just start them over. Start them over at $1 on the pair of San Diego Starbucks mugs. Let's do it. We got to get this stuff sold. Anybody, anybody? I know. Lag. Lag. All right. We're back at $5. KMAT Red Queen. Make sure I see a lot of new names here. Please, please make sure you guys have sent your registration email to the niche lady at gmail.com. I need your chat, your YouTube chat name, your real name if it's different, and your zip code. I've really got to have those three pieces of information to be able to invoice you after the sale. So if you could please, please, please send that over. If you have not done so already. Gina is at $12. This is for the pair. You're getting them both. You get both of the Starbucks mugs. We're at $8 and we are going once. And we are going twice. I hear that. And we are going to call them. We might we might hear China shattering here in a moment. We're gonna call them soul. You ready to tell me what's next, Jordan? Oh no, she lost service. What is the in Belle Oh, we're okay. Just FYI, Melissa, uh, we're gonna that's gonna be a choice on the next one. All right, Gina, Gina got those. Fantastic. So uh this is gonna be a choice because I found another couple of sets of really cool now these are both spoons i just noticed that they are not fork and spoon so you're going to get this either this pair of spoons with the silver well are they i don't i feel like i don't know i don't they're both spoons that's all i'm going to say about that and then you're just going to get a pair of utensils then we have these these are acrylic uh handled like pie servers i don't know if they have a name oh this says mirage stainless steel and this oh this one's got some weight oh this is glass that is glass or crystal and that one is uh just stainless steel japan so the one is glass one is acrylic and last but not least you got the uh, wood carved giraffes probably from africa so we are doing these again as choice you are purchasing one pair of the groovy utensils. That is what you'll be doing on this lot. Yes, indeed. These got some quality to them. They're uh, they're really nice, really nice spoons. All right, we're at two dollars with Tommy salad spoons. I don't, you guys. I'm not a I'm not a kitcheny cookie person, so. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know what the proper terms and usages is for these things. If your mom had those spoons, you might not have been swatted so much. <laughs> $10 with Michelle, $12 with Gina. You see something you like. $12, $15 is with Michelle Foster. $17 with Gina Gaines. All right, we're going to go fast. We got a lot of stuff to get through still. So I'm going to say going once. Going twice. <laughs> hey, come start packing some of this stuff up. You still have to go find clothes. I have to talk to them about the clothes and everything. And we're going to call it sold find sellable clothes and we'll sell them hmm? uh, uh, oh there we go there's our souls going to 
Garnet, Garnet Ren for $26. Which set would you like? Oh, I'm so sorry, Shiloh. That came in right after the sold, but never fear uh, because you would get second choice. So we just need Garnet to let us know which set or sets they would like. We should have brought, there's a lot of things we should have done. Yeah. There truly is a lot of things we should have done. We should have gotten out of bed before 10 a.m. We should have gotten out of bed before 10 a.m. Hey, I can do a lot of work from my phone from bed. I'll just say. <laughs> Garna takes the wooden set with the metal on the end of the handle. You got it. So Shiloh, uh, did you want either, this is a glass and acrylic, pie servers, or the giraffes. Did you want either one of those? And I think Shiloh has a bit of a lag. After Shiloh is Gina Gaines. Gina Gaines would be next in line. Let's see, okay. let's see. Boy, you gotta be careful you don't make that so monster heavy we can't lift it. Okay. Oh, we're just waiting on the lag, guys. Shiloh takes the giraffes, takes the giraffes. Did anybody want this set? I feel like this is a nice crystal piece, this one right here. And it is made in Japan. Anybody interested in those that was that was bidding? Let me know. Otherwise, we will just put these aside and maybe put them in the whatnot sale. Along, no, that was the only thing we passed. Yeah, that's right. That was the end of the, that was the end of the spreadsheet. I believe so. Oh, good. And I'll just pick something. So I'm going to show Melissa what's being sold next here. Oh, Gina wants them. Gina wants them. All right. Gina takes the, I think this is a really nice one, Gina. Good, like, All right. Better, like, wedding, yeah. But... Very functional. Okay. This is a beautiful bowl and it is signed. It is wood. I'm not sure what type of wood that is, but it is signed W, is it I-A-N-O-N-I-S something? It's a burl. It's burl. Ooh, it's a burl wood bowl. Wood, wood. Um, very nice. Gosh, I really like this piece. This is something I would actually bid on uh, if I was watching somebody else's sale because these make such great decorator pieces and they fit in and just add just a nice touch to just about any decor. It can fit in mid-century, it can fit in contemporary, it can fit in primitive. It really goes with everything. And it's a really super nice piece. And it is signed. Maybe you guys can see. Birch, I think that says birch burl. Birch burl is what I see on there, which would make sense because birch is kind of a light colored wood. All right, you guys know what it is. Garnet's at $25. Gloria's at $27. 27 to Gloria. All in, all done. We're going to say going once. We're going to say going twice. Hello, Mallory. And we're going to call it sold. That is a really pretty piece. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, yay. That's amazing. And we just got to wait on that lag. Oh, Shiloh. I'm so sorry. It's going to Garnet. Put in that just in case. Uh, $31 to Garnet Wren. Fantastic piece. Uh, next, we're going to do a vase. It is a pottery vase. It has a really unique look. Uh, and it's got these marks on the bottom. So it's 
CPO looks to be made in Japan, I would guess. I don't know much. It's made to look like wood. That's what's really cool about it. It's got this crazy texture going on. Uh, yeah. It drew my attention from the shelves. It's like, oh, that's a cool piece. But yet it's unglazed on the inside. So it's just this crazy glaze on the outside of this pottery vase. Yeah, I know. I know. That bark edge was fantastic. Shiloh, make sure you're in live chat and you might want to do a refresh because it looks like you're lagging ever so much. <laughs> not when you got like mean people. I'm not sure what you mean there, Lisa B. Oh, it's called a live edge bowl. Oh, that's fantastic. I will put that in my memory banks now. Thank you. My boyfriend has an entire group chat with his friends from high school of tables that they see out and about with live edges. It's literally just really so it's like a thing. It's an entire group chat dedicated to cool live edges. So it's like a millennial thing. Okay. All right. I don't think it's a good thing. It's a good thing. All right, we have this beautiful pottery vase, and it's at $7 with Gloria. I don't, I'm, and maybe it is a DIY. I guess that's possible. I, I don't know for sure, but if it is, it's super cool. We are at, bye June. Where are we at? We are at, we're at $7, $7. Anybody else? We're going to count it down. We're going to say going once. We're going to say going twice. And we're going to call it sold, sold, sold. Just waiting on the lag in the chat. Oh, Gloria Stewart just snuck in there at $20. $20. CPO, Central Purchasing Office, Japanese U.S. military base in occupied Japan, 1946 through 1948. Thank you so much for that information, Becky's Vintage and More. I knew it was an old piece. Now I love knowing exactly how old it is. All right, this is an interesting piece. It is carved from a piece of wood, as you can see, and it is African, I'm pretty sure. And uh, that's about all I know about it. It is not, wait, is it signed? No, I think there's something pencil written on the bottom. I don't know if that's original. There's a little bit of slight cracking. This is like an African ironwood. Uh, it's a very, very dense, hard wood. And it's really, this is a really interesting piece. The textures that they have on it. Does it stand up? It does stand up all on its little lonesome right there. Probably some sort of fertility god that I should not be rubbing too much. You know, just saying. I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm safe, but you you never know. You never know. What problems that could lead to. <laughs> All right. We've got the African wood sculpture. Yeah, she's just having fun over there. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a cool bottle. All right. No, focus, Danny. Focus. All right. Rub it on Jordan. <laughs> no, you keep that away from me. Oh, give it two more years. Yeah, she's she's not ready yet. All right. Five dollars is with Michelle. I think it's a really nice piece, actually. PK Mom Life, welcome to the Niche Nation.
Live Edge Furniture was big in the 70s. Perhaps the millennials are reviving it. Uh, that would be about the right cycle of time. Mm -hmm. you do that. Oh, it does look like a gavel. We could use it like that. If I had a hammer, no. I'd hammer in the morning. I'd hammer in the evening. In all over this land. <laughs> All right, we're at $6 with Debbie, and we're going once. No, we are not rubbing it on bougie. Oh, heck no. Wait, I want a bougie baby. <laughs> we're going twice. And we're going to call him Soul. Bringing this over so Melissa can see what we got next. <laughs> so that went to Michelle Lewandowski. All right, next we have a Raggedy Ann in its original box. She looks really nice and clean. The box looks a little raggedy. Let's See if we can, I need another hand, I need another hand. Oh, she's still hooked to her cardboard, I think. Okay, I'm gonna... Here, pull, pull, pull her out, pull her up. Oh yeah, yeah, she's still, she's, brand new. she's like new old stock because she's still attached onto the card from whence she came. And it is made by, so Johnny Gruel. It's a 1996 Hasbro. 1996 Hasbro. Uh, box is a little rough, but I mean, it's not horrible. And the fact that she's still attached to her cardboard is pretty cool. So we have Raggedy Ann for your bidding pleasure. Oh, thank you for buying one of those, Carol. I think we should all love a flock of little bougies. I don't know. Be careful what you guys ask for. He's a he's a brat. <laughs> he steals things like a cat now. Although Jordan's cat chewed through my phone charger the first night I was here. He's not being a good boy. Yeah, he's he's a naughty. He's a naughty, naughty cat. I would say he's doing his best, but he's really not. All right, Marilyn's at 25 on Raggedy Ann. We're at 25 on Raggedy Ann. She has little button eyes, too. How cute is that? And we're going once. I do miss Bougie, though. It's really hard to not wake up to Peekaboo. Good morning. Good morning. And cockatiel sounds that he makes now. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Did I say going once? Let me finish that first, and then I'll tell you. Going twice. And sold. Okay, so when I was packing to come here, I of course, I had a suitcase that I was putting stuff in, and as I was zipping up the zipper, you guessed it, he was making the zipper noises. He loves making his zipper noises now. So funny. I did not, Lynn. I'll do that. I'll do that after I do this piece, since I already put this on the screen. I will do the hamburger after I do this beautiful, what I believe is a little Nippon. Nippon. Thank you, Marilyn. You were the winner of that last piece for 25. Oh, it is Nippon. See, I just knew that without even looking at the mark. There we go. Hand-painted Nippon. It has the Moriage. A little raised enameling, that's what that's called. And this would, I guess technically it would be a little nappy or a little nut dish with a handle. Beautiful, beautiful old piece. I would, I would say this one's about a hundred years old. It's got, again, like the art deco, art nouveau crossover uh, sort of design on it. Where they were morphing into art deco from art nouveau. We're at $10 with Michelle Foster. Got it in there first. Roylene is at 12. Stephanie is, nope, Lynn is at 15. 
Lynn is at 15. Show you the mark again. Upside down. Why do you do that, Danny? Why do you show things upside down? I don't know. I don't know why. I do. The light is a little wonky right here. There we go. There you can see it. Did you miss that I showed you the mod chat over here on my phone? No. Oh, saw it? I missed it. I didn't, oh, is that why you placed that next yeah. to me? Yeah. Okay. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> We're at 25 with Francie Goins, 28 with Lynn Murdoch, and we're going to count it down. Going once. Going twice. And we'll call it... Oh. I already deleted it. Oh, what, what were you showing me? <laughs> I can't do those next, though. I know. But, you know, I already know. That's why I pulled them off the shelf. Stand by. All right, sold to Lynn Murdoch for 28, as promised. Uh, we have a hamburger to go with the hot dog. So now, if you were the winner of that hot dog, uh, you could have the full set. <laughs> you know, because who doesn't need a hamburger with their hot dog? And again, we have cheese, we have mustard, we have lettuce. Oh, there's little veins in the lettuce even. I like the pickle on the top. I do like the pickle on the top. These are nice and clean. I doubt these have ever been used. It is a hobby piece. You can tell it's a hobby piece, but what a fantastic hobby piece it is. This was a thing. I remember painting in the 80s. You went to the store, you got your blank and your paints, and you just you just had at it. What? Color you what? Color me mine. It's still a thing. That's what it's called. It's called color me mine. You go pick your ceramic piece. Oh. And you paint it and they fire it for you. Well, yeah, like that. <laughs> Lynn is a 25 with a power bid. 25 is with Lynn. We're going once. Ooh, that's pretty. Going twice. Ooh, I kind of like that. And we're going to call it sold. All right. She keeps throwing stuff over here. You're messing me up. You're messing me up. I'm not that bad. Sorry, not sorry. Hold on. Big stuff. Big stuff must wait over here. Okay. I know. Hobbyists should always have signed their pieces. You know what? I feel like I keep flashing this little lady here. And so <laughs> I feel like I need to do her next. She's um, she's old, but I'm not exactly sure how she's made or what she's made of. I feel like that's got like a 1960s vibe going with it. Feel like it. I feel like it. I'm trying to figure out. She's got a little crack on her neck here. But it could just be like where they attached her head to. I don't know. What do you guys think? Look at her eyes. She's got kind of haunting eyes. Bottle cover. I mean, it's like a cardboard tube. And on the cardboard tube, it says there's a patent pending. 1960. I see 1966 as a date on there. Stamped on the cardboard. I see 1966. Puts it over a bottle of wine. Oh, let's see. Oh, nope. Maybe a skinnier bottle. Too, why do we do it with wine back here? I don't know. Wow. Are we partying after? <laughs> but she's really, really interesting. She's almost like a paper mache kind of a thing. I'm not, I wish I knew the technical terms for how she was made. Uh, but she's really, 
really neat. And obviously now we know 1960s. I was right. 1960s vibe was right. Look at the detail. How she was put on there. Sip and sell. <laughs> Could do a sip and sell. <laughs> we are at a thrift store in Hillcrest, San Diego, uh, that Jordan has partnered up with to sell all of this stuff. And so uh, I'm helping her out by uh, helping her sell some stuff. She's taking care of all the shipping. That's the deal we have tonight. And she's feeding me. What? Yes. Yeah, you got to feed me too. Oh. <laughs> I do think she is paper mache. Was it a thread spool? I don't, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Possibly. All right. Do we have any interest in her? I don't see... I don't see any bidding. She's pretty amazing. Are we going to pass her? I see seven. Mallory's at seven. All right. Seven dollars on the pretty 1960s lady. There they come. I don't know why it was like all clogged up. I wasn't seeing anything. Eight dollars with Michelle Foster. We're at eight with Michelle. And we're going to count her down. We're at nine. Heidi came in first with the nine. Heidi came in first. Mallory's back at 10. And we're going once. Heidi's at 11. And we're going twice. Bobby is at 15. And we are going to call her Soul. I see a Justin Case coming in. Not to be confused with a Justin Bieber. <laughs> you know, he just sold his music catalog for like $200 million. He's been a singer for like 10 or 10 years. Yep, yep. Oh, Bobby, I'm so sorry. That came in after the sold was called... Uh, Mallory is the winner at, 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 at $16. Bummer. It, trust me, I would have rather have had the higher amount, believe me. But we just can't do it. We can't do it. All right. Uh, this is a very cool set of glasses. They are fairies. They are Libby. They are Libby frosted fairy glasses. We only have two, but two is better than one, right? Actually, two is better than three, in my opinion, as well. I feel like 200 million, I would be, I could, I could get by with 200 million for, for a while and, and actually really take a week off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'd probably put it all into opening more good stuff thrift stores all over the country. That's we probably what I would do. That's the I know. All right, we're selling the Libby Fairies. We're at $5 with Sandra. Six is with Peachy Me. Six dollars with Peachy Me. Anybody else? Ten dollars with Grammy K. I gotta wait on that lag, guys. Gotta just wait on that lag. If you took off, you'd you'd do a thrifting trip. I would because I turned my passion and joy into a career. So <laughs> it all works. <laughs> Yes, thank you for that reminder, Christy. Everybody really needs to make sure they have emailed me their uh, chat name, their real name, if it's different, and their zip code. It's super important. 
All right, we're at $12 with Grammy K. 12 is with Grammy K. And we're going once. And we're going twice. I see 15 with Charlotte as we call this item sold. And in the lag time, I'm seeing Grammy come back in. Grammy K knows how to do it. Go into Grammy K for $16. $16 because we don't let you up your own bid. All right. What are these did? Are these thimbles? Oh, they are. They're Avon. They're little Avon 1983 thimbles. And we're just going to sell these as a pair together. We are going to sell the two little vintage lady thimbles as a pair. Did you give up on putting raggedy back in the box? I, did, I, I left that for you. I left that for you. Start these little porcelain, they're porcelain, porcelain ladies at a dollar. Heidi's in at a dollar. Could you actually use them as symbols to sell? Well, or are they just like a I mean, vegetable? you could, but I, well, yeah, I don't know that you'd want to. <laughs> don't ask either of us, we don't actually know how to sell. So. That's right, that's right. Bobby Myers at seven, and we're going once. And we're going twice. And we will call them sold. Poor Christy. She's barely getting to put in what the lot is. That's okay. I feel like we're moving right along smoothly. Don't jinx it, Mom. We're adjusting. We're flexing. We're turning. We're growing. Pivot and turn. Me too, Barbara. Me too. All right. Sold. Two. Who got those? Bobby Meyer. Bobby Meyer got those. Welcome, Kathy Zoller. All right. Let's do the carved stone dish. It's a marbly stone. I don't know. I don't know what kind of stone it is, but it does have the veining like marble. It's missing one of its little, hey, hey, you're making a lot of noise over there, little girl. <laughs> She's like on a cleaning spree right now. She's unpacking more boxes. All right. So beautiful stone could be used as a soap dish, could be used to hold, I don't know, some scented something. It could be a candle holder. So many wonderful uses for the carved stone dish. Wait, what, 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 wait, I just saw something. Now I gotta go find it. I keep getting, you cannot comment. Really, Christy? It's not letting you comment? What is going on? That's weird, that's weird. All right, Moon Flipper is at 10. I know, I've got weird shadows. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the weird shadows. Hi, Casey McNeil. Glad you made it, too. Scoot item to left. Chat on that better? That left? We're at $15, $18 with Moon Flipper. 18 is with Moon Flipper. I'm going to go see if I got less shadow over here. Yeah, and just as a reminder, guys, I am listing on eBay again. So I have some auctions that are ending tomorrow evening. And then I have a whole new bunch that is launching tomorrow evening to coincide with the video that comes out that shows me buying the items. Uh, that I'm putting up on eBay. So it's kind of a, a new little thing I'm doing. And I am starting all my auctions at five bucks. So if you want to check out my eBay, that would be fantastic. Did I count? Did I count down? No. Did I? 
Uh oh, everybody's putting in just in cases, and I didn't count down yet. My bad. Going once, going twice. We're just going to count it down quickly. And we're going to call it sold. Unless I did, I'm just making sure I didn't already do something wonky. No, okay. I think I'm okay. Melissa is going to post a link over there that'll take you over to my eBay store. I know. Poor, I got Melissa flying today. She's a, she's an animal. Melissa's an animal. She can do it. <laughs> uh, but it's utterly good stuff. But she'll put the link right there in the chat for you. I also put the link in every single video description for you to click over to my eBay store. We appreciate you, Melissa. We love you, Melissa. All right, Moon Flipper got that one. Okay, how about a mug? Let's do this mug. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I say this a lot. I feel like so many people say this a lot. It's a great saying. It is what it is, right? It's double-sided with it is what it is. It's super clean on the inside with a little swirly gig in there. And it's a, a love your mug mug. It's dishwasher and microwave safe. It's just a nice mug, and we're going to sell the just a nice mug. And we're going to start it at a dollar. She says, roar, I'm a beast. <laughs> Hi, Kimmy Arnold over on Facebook. I got PK Mom Life at $5. $5, PK Mom Life. Hey Melissa, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of shove some stuff, you know, in the background here. You know, it might be coming up like shortly, just to give you a little, you know, just I mean maybe so you can see what's coming for the spreadsheet. <laughs> All right, ten dollars is with PK Mom Life. Twelve dollars with Francie Goins. $12 is with Francie. I am on YouTube right now. Yes, that is where we're doing the purchasing. $15 with PK Mom Life and we're going once. And we're going twice. And we're going to call it sold. I go till Four o'clock. Okay, so I know we got one hour left. We're cruising. We're cruising. <gasps> oh my. Nothing happened. Oh my. Oh my. Can you hear her over there? Don't worry about me. All right. PK Mom Life, you want it for 20. That must be your saying, huh? All right. I am not sure what this is used for. Uh, there was a time I thought I knew. And now I'm not so sure, but I bet somebody here knows what this is. I do know it's Noritake, though. It's another piece of luster Noritake. Now, when I was shopping with George the Antique Nomad, he told me the Noritake pieces are coming back very strongly. Um, anybody know what this is? I, we're going to sell it as a Noritake thing. Noritake thing. It's a, it's not a taco holder. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could be. I don't think it's a napkin holder. I mean, I think it's got some other obscure little purpose. Toast. Yes, that's it. It's a toast holder. What is Thank you. Ancient people. I know. Yes. You put your toast when you serve the oh, toast on the table. Hey, yes. Are these dining room tables that these people they, have? You don't remember the Hearst Castle? I mean, I do, but... Again. Fancy people with big ballrooms and stop putting more things on the table. <laughs> We're not going to get through all of this. There's so much on the table. <laughs> okay. If we don't get it done here, we're going to do it on whatnot. Yes, it is a toast holder. I knew it was something like that. But now you could use it. I feel like how fun would the breakfast table be if you actually served your toast in a little toast holder. Look at no, no, how no. cute would that be for you and Grant? A piece for you, 
and a piece for him. And then I have to do the dishes. It would be so sweet. And then I have to do the dishes. Oh my gosh. Yes, you'd have to do the dishes. All right. Or hear me out. I cook, he does the dishes. You cook, he does the dishes. I like I like that. I like That's that. Easy. All right, we're at $12 with Melissa Jones, and we're gonna count it down going once. Going twice. Oh yeah, there are some fake Nortaki marks, but usually you can tell with the quality of the piece along with the marks. And we're gonna call it so the Vanderbilts, right? Can you peel that off so I can see if there's a mark on me? Can you can you please? All right, winner is Cat Neal. I know that was a C uh, in your mind. <laughs> so Cat Neal for $16. <laughs> All right, we've got these nice silver plated uh, salt and peppers. Really nice design. You can see, I believe these are silver plate over copper because some of the copper is kind of showing through. That's what happens. The silver plating starts to wear off and the copper comes through. There are no marks to tell me who made them, but they are really, really nice. The tops screw off. That is how you would put the salt and the pepper in. And there you go. Silver plate, salt and peppers. They feel like they might be weighted on the bottom. They got some weight toward the bottom because nobody wanted to spill their salt back in the day. That was like bad news, spilling salt. Yes. Uh-oh, what did Chelsea say? What did she say? What was the funny? The clampets? <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure they didn't have a big table. All right, we're at $10 with Stephanie Elizabeth Taylor. $10 with Stephanie. Anyone else? I'm gonna count them down. Going once, going twice, and oh, what are you breaking? Just a box. And we're gonna call them so. Keep hearing that doorbell back here. People walking. Ding dong. Ding dong. Ding dong. And hi, Julie Simmons, living good. Over on Facebook, I see you. Shiloh is the winner of those. I know it is, it is still a superstition, but I, I believe it was an actual, absolute, like a fear, fear back then. Okie dokie. All right, you guys probably keep seeing this pretty Balik vase in the background. So let's do it. It is Irish Balik. Let me turn it so you can see it. It's a Millennium 2000 vase from Balik, Ireland. There's the mark. Pretty shamrocks. And it is shamrock season pretty much coming. Uh, what are we like? Okay, I'm, I'm like retail minded. For me, it's like, it's a month away. <laughs> it's really, it's two months away. Well, not quite, not quite, but, but there you go. It's a good time to be saving up on the shamrocks. And it's got the cool basket weave. It's a nice piece. Very nice piece. Thank you everybody for hitting the thumbs up. I do super duper appreciate it. The focus is not good. Uh-oh, are we losing our signal? Oopsie doopsie. We're at 22 with Gina. 
22 is with Gina. Oh, all right. Mom says it is fine. That's good to know. Perfect for Melissa. Ooh, perfect. I'm not often perfect. All right, fantastic. All right, we are at, what did I say? $22 with Gina and we're going once. And we're going twice. And we're gonna call it Soul Told Soul. Now we will just wait on the lag. I do not know what my daughter is doing in the background. She's like just doing all kinds of shuffling stuff around. All right, going to Garnet Wren for 25. Next, uh, I have all of these little picks. I'm not sure what they're made of, like a, like a celluloid, I think. Might be a celluloid. There's two that look like they had birds on them. Paint's a bit worn. And then there's three that are this skinnier handle, but you're gonna get all five, all five, one money. Oh, that dark, gosh, how do I get out of that dark? Here we go. All five of the little picks, they're like a plastic celluloid, super vintage. Bamboo, oh, could they be bamboo? I don't feel like they're wood though, they, they're, they feel more plasticky to me than wood. Shrimp forks, is that what they are? Shrimpy forks, all right, I can go with that. Are they not bones? Are they, no. Are they not hair picks? And she, now she's saying hair picks. That's, uh, that was my thought when I picked them up, that they were like bamboo hair picks or bone um, hair picks. Maybe, oh, this, you're right, this is bone. Oh, these two are definitely bone. Now that I pick those up. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Wow. How do I know more than you about this, Mom? Bone on those for sure. Because you have better eyes. It's possible. I, I Now that you say that, I do see the little marrow lines. I do see little. Okay. So they're bone. They're bone. I was wrong. I was wrong. Well, that's even, that's even more better. More better. It's more better. Escargot picks. All right. There we go. Ooh. That was an option on the menu last night. That was. And nobody got them. Nobody was brave enough. I got uh, oysters. oysters. Yes, got the oysters. That'll be that'll be in my video on Sunday. You'll get to see what we ordered. All right, we're at ten dollars with Tommy. And we're going once. And we're going twice. <laughs> and we're going to call them so. I cannot bring myself to eat snails. Nope. Can't do it. Nope. 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 And there's the sold. Charlotte Parks got them for $15. I have never, ever had a uh, frog leg either. Oh, these are cool. Oh, let's see what you did there. Look at these little vintage porcelain drawer pulls. There's, I'm not going to unwrap all of them. You will get four of them. Four of them that look like this. They are vintage. This one's, oh, look, that one's missing a little screw. I feel like that's easily replaceable. Maybe it's in the box. Four vintage. Now I feel like I have to unwrap them. 
Can you give me a hand so I can just make sure all the pieces and parts are here? Just to make sure that that's the only one missing the little screw on the end. Okay, that one has it. Oh, no, nope, this one's missing one too. Oh, was there another box? What? Hold on. Oh, stand by. This is important. Oh, good gravy. You're killing me, small. Hold on. Stand by. Stand by before any bidding happens. Because we just might have. Yeah, those are those are different. But the extra little screws might be in here. Are these these? Is it? I'm sure one of these fits in the back of it. Um. So they're not the original ones. No. But, but you got to make sure there's one for each of these. You don't want to take it away from these. Right. Right. Look at you. Look so. Stand by, guys, because none of these have them screwed in is the thing. Oh, goodness gracious. How about we just put them all together? Okay. Let's just make it a big lot of drawer pulls, <laughs> of drawer pulls with all of the hardware. So, um, only this one is crystal. This one is crystal. These ones are not. Well, it came with these, which are plastic. So that's why. Oh yeah, these are. This is acrylic, but you're gonna get all the. Um, oh here, let's throw those in too. There we go. Where's my project, people? Here you go. We got your project right here for you. There's all the little backing screws. There, it's the whole lot now. Sorry, Christy. Sorry, we're we're pivoting again. Pivot, flex, turn, shift. <laughs> you're getting them all there's so there's three four five six seven eight nine ten fourteen you're getting 14 of the vintage dresser poles or cabinet you can put them on cabinet these are really cool actually really like nice and simple line but man these things are really expensive to go buy at the store and these are like brand new they all the little boxes are here that they came in Oh, there, there. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. What's that? Oh, look at that. There's another one. Now you've got six. <laughs> now you got six matchy matchies on those. This this one is, I do believe, a Swarovski. Let me look for a mark on that. That's a nice. Oh, that's a nice piece. What would a mark for a swan? It looks like a little swan. A little etch, a little acid etch. I don't see it marked, but ooh, look at the crystally on that. Yes, yes. Pivot and pivot and pivot, right? Yeah. Okay. We're at twenty-two dollars. Oh, oh. What was that? What was that? I don't know where it came from. Oh, she's breaking stuff over there. <laughs> you all heard that, right? That's a sound we that's a sound we don't want to hear. No, I can't even tell what it was. Oh goodness. Well, it didn't have a mark on it. It was that million dollar piece of glass. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Blue flamingo mercantile. I have not seen you around for a while, my friend. Jordan bought something. <laughs> oh, it's okay, guys. It's okay. It happens. Happens. All right. Where are we at? We are at 22 still. We're at 22, and we're going once. You're getting them all. You're getting them all. You're getting the six matching ones that look like this. You're getting the ones Swarovski-ish, we think and the four porcelain and the four, I don't know what these are made of, aluminum maybe? You're getting them all. And we're going twice. Yes, Trish Frankfurt, I am on YouTube is where we are doing all of the bidding. Whereas uh, Facebook is kind of a view only and you can throw chats in there. You just can't purchase anything from the Facebook chat. And we're going to call them Sue. 
And since Jordan's a little uh, preoccupied, cleaning up a little mess, I'm going to put all of this back in the bag, like so. I will include all the little boxes, too, in case somebody wants to keep the little original boxes. Plus, it'll keep the porcelain safe and sound. All of the screws go in there. There we go. All right. All right, next, how about a fish? I showed this fish in the beginning, so I would be remiss in not offering the fish up for sale. Uh, this is, yeah, if anything's changed, Blue Flamingo, definitely make sure that I have your current info. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I believe this is carved from onyx. I say that because I can see one little line, oh, wait. That's glue. Ah, I thought that was the veining of the stone. So he has been repaired. He is a repaired piece, unfortunately. He's still super cool. Now I don't know what he's made of. I still see some veining. I do still see some veining in there. But he almost, almost looks like a selenite or a quartz. I'm going to go with quartz. Let's go with the quartz fish. Quartz fish. I am in San Diego. I am in San Diego. Oh, you still think he's onyx, even though he's like very, very lightly veined? Very, very lightly veined. All right. Well, he is a he is a carved stone fish with a little boo-boo. But you know what? My fish have boo-boos. And I love them anyway. <laughs> yeah, if you guys read the little ticker that's scrolling along the bottom, it gives you the details for the free shipping credit. I keep that running for the whole sale. We're at $5 on the fishy with Sandra. I see Sandra at $5. Anybody else like the little fish that needs a new home? Acetone will remove the excess glue. Oh, that's good to know. Honestly, you guys, I didn't even know that until I looked super close because I thought it was meant to have some of that yellow veining. All right, we're going once. Did I say, I think, I, I don't know if I said that already. We're going twice. And we're going to call him Soul as he swims away. There we go. Yeah, I start getting punchy about this time of day. Kelly Porter, are you on the fish? I'm going to call, I'm going to call Mal, well, I don't know if she, she meant to, to put that amount in. Uh, I have a feeling that was meant to be 12. So Kelly Porter, Kelly Porter says, yes, I want the fish. Okay. How about an elephant? He is marble. He is super cool with his little trunk up. And his little red eyes. Um, but he is a carved... Oh, is that signed on the bottom? It almost looks like it's signed. Hmm. I don't know. But he is definitely solid marble. And he's a super cool elephant. What else is there to say about a super cool marble elephant? Other than, let's start him at a dollar. I know that song. Wow, you are just a cleaning phenom right now. I'm in a groove. I'm in a She's in a groove and in a mood. This was supposed to be her sale. Well, you sound like a You're doing a great job. You, well, okay, you you're supposed to be packing all this stuff up so okay, we can I'm take it. Kind of yeah. Oh, I see. 
I feel like we need to sell that. What is this? That I believe is a mahjong. But I was hoping to find like all the, but just leave it handy because we're going to see if we can find the rest of that. All right, we're at $15 with Francie and we're going once. And we're going twice. And we're going to call him So. This is what we do. We get a little manic about our cleaning and organizing. When we get into it, we get into it. And then it's like, it's like a rush to the brain. Like, oh, look at what's happening. I'm fixing all this. Ooh. All right, Heidi Esterholm. Ooh, you snuck in there at that 23. That was just enough to take him. Okay, I found one of these earlier. And I told Jordan that if there was two, I would totally sell these because they're so cool. And then she found the second one. They are white horse seller uh, scotch glasses. And they've got these little wider footed bases. They are super cool. Super cool. No, I don't, anybody need me to sell some shoulder pads? Because we could bring the 90s back right now, right today. Are they coming back? Are they a thing? Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. So we're going to sell the white horse scotch glasses. Yeah. So I literally skated in here like 15 minutes before we went live. And I did a quick skim through these shelves and pulled things that I would be things that I would buy and sell in my live sales. And Jordan gets to sell all of this. So you really need to be following her whatnot because that's where she sells things. It's really yeah. fun too because we're it is really fun. Discovering little things about each piece as we go. It's yeah, really it is fun. fun. So we're going to do some kind of a joint whatnot this weekend. I'm not exactly sure how, when, what, how. Stay tuned for details on that, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I feel like it's going to happen. No? Yeah? No? I feel like it could happen. Yeah, we'll work out the details. It'll happen. If you want to ride, don't ride the white horse. <laughs> All right. Where are we at? Where are we at? We are at $7. Is that where we're at? $7 with Stephanie. I feel like they're cooler than that, but we're going to count them down. Going once. Going twice. I spilled some salt. You just throw it over your left shoulder. There you go. And we're going to call them so. You miss the 80s? I don't think I miss the 80s. I am still live, my favorite finds. You are here while I am live. And there's the sold. Oh, Stephanie Elizabeth Taylor, you came in right after the sold on that. But I think, nope, Lynn got them. Lynn got them for 10. Lynn got them for $10. Okay. All right, guys. Do me a solid. These are really, really nice. And there's, there's going to be a reserve on these only because this is not my stuff. Uh, so we're going to let it go. We're going to start them at a dollar. We're going to let them go. But look what we got here. We've got RS Prussia. RS Prussia. Uh, they are absolutely amazing little, I don't know if they're sauce dishes or dessert dishes. There is a matching set of four. RS Prussia, gold edged dishes. Let's run them. Let's see what we do. I'll let you guys know when we're in the green light on these. Um, but 
Let's do it. Saw power bids. Welcome power bids. Welcome. Cause these are super duper nice. They do kind of match, but these are RS, RS Prussia and that was Nippon. RS Prussia is the bee's knees. Yes. These are fantastic. All right. We're at $30 with Jen Hoff. Oh, I don't miss the hairspray either. You are correct. You are correct. We are at 30. We got to be a little higher on these guys. There are four of them. These would sell for about $30 a piece on eBay. We're at 35 with Mallory. Somebody get me to 50 and we can sell them. Got to get me to 50. <laughs> Tiffany S., you said you are in San Diego. That I think we could probably make that a possibility. What? No shipping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Better for me. All right. We're going to sell them. Mallory's at 50. $5 increments. $5 increments. Honestly, guys, these are like one of the best things I've ever sold. What the, they uh, are gorgeous. What is the rim? Oh, gold gilt. Is it's gold gilt rim. The oh, that's the Moriage. No, the, the, it starts with a D. No, it doesn't. Moriage is what the little enameled design is. We're talking about the little ring head. Yep. Oh. I love how in the gold, there's a pattern in the gold. Like they were so finely detailed. All right, we're at 55, 60 with Mallory. All right, we're gonna count them down. Going once. Going twice. And we're going to call them sold. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I get nervous every once in a while about an item. That was one of them. You guys are talking about Aquanet over there. You have frozen many spiders with Aquanet. That's hilarious. All right, Mallory, they're coming to you for $60. All right, this is a Tonala butter dish, but it's missing the base. But I said, you know what? My people love Tonala so much. They're going to forgive the fact that it doesn't have its base because you could really put any base under this and be okay and use it as a butter dish. This is the important part right here. So we're going to sell the Tonala butter dish top is what we're going to do with a bird on it. I don't know if it's a Ken Edwards. Uh, I suspect that it would have been signed on the base. So we don't know. This very well could be Ken Edwards uh, because it would have been on the base of the butter dish is where it would have been signed. We are at $8 with peachy meat. $8 with peachy me. $9 with Donna Boggs. $9 with Donna. $10 with Stephanie. $10 with Stephanie. I know, right? Somebody would be looking for that top for their base. Oops. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. It's getting a little cold in here. My hands aren't working like they should. We're at $10 and we're going to count it down. Going once. Going twice. And we'll call it sold.
What you mean, Terry Smith? What is going on? We're having a sale. You could use it for whatever you want. There are no rules in this world that can't be broken. <laughs> Grammy K got it for $12. All right. Next is this really cool single glass. I didn't even look to see if it's got a name on it. Mid-century. Oh, wait. There is, there is something on the bottom. Anchor Hawking? No. Um, is it Anchor Hawking? Or no, At Hazel Atlas. Gosh, I knew there was another HA. Hazel Atlas. Hazel Atlas Seahorse Single Glass Gold and Frosted Fabulousness. Great little bathroom cup. Lots of uses for a single cup. You have a full set of these in a metal tray. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. All right. We do not tolerate that around here, Terry. Nobody's being rude, just kind of stating things as we get along in here. My mods type in all capitals so that I can see when my mods are saying stuff and I can kind of follow along with what's happening. There's nothing rudeness meant by it. But, but please don't make those kind of comments in my chat. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're at $7 with Stephanie. Seven is with Stephanie and eight is with Barbara and we're going once. And we're going twice. And we're gonna call this little guy so I have the most amazing moderators in all of internet land, let me tell you right now. And I appreciate each and every one of them who does this for free, volunteer. So I absolutely will not let anybody say anything bad about my moderators. All right, sold on that one to Stephanie Elizabeth for $9. Look at this really, really pretty little set of salt and peppers. They are Denmark. I see Denmark. I guess I should show you and not just look myself. So Denmark, I'm trying to see what the other mark is. Are they? I'm trying to see if they're Royal Copenhagen, possibly. They've got flowers on them they got this little kind of a a ribbed design oh they are bing and grondel yes they are b and g bing and grondel there we go salt and, oh i'm spilling i'm spilling salt and pepper all over the table <laughs> all right all right all good we will empty those out before they ship out no sense adding extra weight right so they are bing and grondel oops sorry Mind my finger, setting the phone down here so you can see them better. We're at $5 with Stephanie. They are a flow, they're, they're not, they're a little flow blue. I guess you would consider that flow blue. They're kind of a muted, a muted blue. $13 is with Stephanie. Have a little table with your salt and pepper, right? Yes, exactly. 15 with Heidi. It is over your left shoulder. It's over your left shoulder. You have to throw the salt. Yes. All right. $15 with Heidi. And we're going once. 
And we're going twice. I see Stephanie's just in case. And we're going to call them sold. All right, start packing up, girls. Start packing up. A bunch of paper while you're right oh, do we have paper? Yeah. Oh, I see your logic. Can you come over and, and grab me the, the that stuff from the side of the table over there that I don't I don't want to forget about because I showed it at the beginning. Okay, so that's four lots. No, probably not. We're good. We're good. Hold on. Yeah. Hold what on. Are you talking about? All right, that's good. This is what I wanted. All right. That sold to Stephanie Elizabeth for $24. Nope, that is Jordan. I am in San Diego with Jordan. <laughs> All right. I'm going to sell the pieces of amethyst crystals. This would, I think this would could be considered raw amethyst because it's still on its original rock form. Uh, amethyst is just so beautiful. I'm going to sell both of these pieces together, two little pieces of the raw amethyst. I know, I know, I know. It's the kind of thing my friend Be The Light Crystals would sell. I don't know if they're having a sale tonight or not. They usually do their sales at 4 o'clock over on Facebook. If anybody likes this kind of stuff, um, they have beautiful, beautiful pieces. My shelves are full of the pieces that I have purchased from them. And it's, they're, they're Be The Light Crystals LLC over on Facebook, and they run the sales through their Facebook page. All right, we're at $5 everywhere, but Sylvie comes in at 10. You're getting both pieces, both pieces. 15 with Charlotte, and we're going to start counting it down. Going once, going twice, and sold. I got this weird shade thing happening with the lighting because it's getting dark here. But we are about done. We're getting to the end. Oh, Christy, she answered. I remember seeing it, and I don't remember what she said. She did answer once before, but I don't know if she's still here. Maybe we can go back and find it. All right, Charlotte Parks for $20. $20. And then I have this little geode with the miner. So it's, see him in there? He's in there mining the, the crystals inside the geode. This is a natural geode that's been cracked open. And then they put the little, I don't know, maybe, maybe the miner was in there. Maybe, may, <laughs> hey, I get to be cheesy, okay? Cheesy's, cheesy's my gig. <laughs> I feel like he might have already been in there and they found the little miner guy inside the little geode. I don't know. You tell me, you tell me. Oh, do we have two Wanda Arnolds? Oh, that could make for an interesting Eek. <laughs> you guys always love to give me a good challenge, don't you? All right, we're at $15 with Peg. 15 is with Peg. 16 is with Barbara. 17 is with Peg. 17 with Peg. And we're going once. And we're going twice. 
and we're going to call it sold. That's what we're going to call it. You know, my favorite finds were at a thrift store that Jordan is helping out to sell their stock as they change the direction of their store. So all their thrift store items from estate purchases uh, are going to be sold now by Jordan. Linda Brown, Linda Brown for the win on that. Okay, next I have a little brass peacock. Look how fun he is. He does not have any markings that I see, but he's he's got some patina down there. So there could be a marking under all that patina. But he's a cute little guy, and he's solid brass. And he's next for $1 starting bid. And Joe Gal is at one. My favorite finds is at three. Barbara Phillips is at five. $5 is where we're at. Nope. Now we're at six. We're six with Casey. Six is with Casey. Seven is with Ruth. Eight is with Casey. $8 with Casey McNeil. $10 with Kelly Porter. 10 is with Kelly Porter. 11 is with Heidi. 11 with Heidi. Let's count them down. This is where you put those just in cases. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Say hi. You're in the camera right now. Hello. <laughs> Don't like pick your nose or anything right now because everybody can see you. And the winner of that one is Kelly Porter. Kelly Porter for $13. All right. Then there is this cute little cat. I feel like it's a business card holder. It's marked 1997. Uh, it is pewter. I can't make out what the maker's name is. It's in there and I can't. I can't see it. What does that say? It says, ah, can anybody make it out? Something Guild? Eden Guild? Eden Guild? I feel is what it says. But it's this cool little cat, and I think he is for business cards, or he's a place card holder, but he would hold business cards really nicely, is what he would do. And we're starting him at a dollar. I've got Anjo at $1. We are going to do a grand finale of a mystery lot at the end here, guys. We're at $11 with Peachy Me, taco holder. <laughs> Everybody's got tacos on the brain. It must be. $15 with Grammy K. $15 is with Grammy K. Oh, did it say seagull? Maybe. I don't know. And we're going once. And we're going twice. And we're going to call it Soul. And let's see what happens. In the next video, Danny and Jordan go for tacos. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, Grammy K, it is yours for $18. All right, this will be the last lot that you can see. And then I'm going to do a mystery lot. So this is a pair of uh, glass cocktail stirs. They've got the little green balls on the bottom. They got palm trees on the top. I wish there was more 
Unfortunately, there's not. So we're going to sell the pair of the cocktail stirs and we're going to start them at a dollar. One dollar. Peachy me, I'm not sure if you're lagging or you're doing a power bid. I'm thinking maybe you guys are power bidding. It always helps me if you let me know, like if you're going to throw a big amount out there, just verify that it's for this item. But I think it is because we're already at 22 with Kathy Barnett. 22 with Kathy. I am certainly in the right place for good Mexican food. That is true. That is true. 23 with Peachy Me. 23 is with Peachy Me on the little palm tree cocktail stirs. And we're going once. And we're going twice. And we're going to call them Soul. See what happens. Oh, I bet those are cute. La is it Lasonia? Crystal Van Ho, who has a space at my store has a set of pink elephant shot glasses that are so cute. All right, let me let me flip my camera back around. Oops, wrong. I always hit the wrong thing. Stand by. Someday I'll figure out this technology stuff. Truly. I think I got it. Oh, what am I showing you? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, goodness. There I am. Wow, there we go. They are cute. They are really cute. Okay, here's the grand finale. Now, let me flip around. So those who may have gotten here ooh, a little late, see these shelves full of goodness that Jordan has been organizing and cleaning up this whole time. So we're going to do this last lot as a mystery lot. Uh, we're going to put some porcelain in there. We're going to put some glass in there. We're going to put some cool stuff in there. That's, uh, you know, and uh, we will make sure you get your value out of it. So, Mystery Lot is our grand finale. We're going to pull items off of these amazing shelves of goodness and fill you up a mystery box of stuff. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. All right, starting it at a dollar. Let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. The higher the bid, the more stuff we pack in the box. That's how it works. Goodbye, Lydia. We are at 30 power bid with Moon Flipper. We are already at 30. 35 with Lynn. Oh, Kathy is in at $55 increments. $50 is with Kathy. Already got the 50 with Kathy. 55 with Moon Flipper. 75 with Francie Goins. 75 with Francie. Yeah. Anybody who's gotten one of my mystery boxes before knows I load those suckers up. All right. Moon Flipper is at $90, $90 with Moon Flipper. We're going to count it down. Going once. $100 with Francie. Going twice. $110 with Moon Flipper. And we're going to call it Soul. <laughs> Thank you guys. Let me see. Don't don't leave yet because I am going to ask you a couple questions. If you're the winner, oh, there we go. Francie Goins, one hundred and thirty-five dollars. Francie, just tell me. Like, I, I, like, give me a favorite color, real quick. And tell me, do you prefer 
glass or porcelain. Just give me a couple little clues so I can make this the best mystery box you've ever gotten. Let me know a few things like you would like to see show up in a mystery box. They're probably around here. I can almost assure you. Yes. And uh, everyone else, we are going to be doing a whatnot sale from the merchandise in here again. So we'll take this party over to whatnot. Please follow both me, uh, the niche lady, and Jordan, just Jordan things, because we're not sure which channel we're going out on. We're not sure how we're doing it yet. So if you're following both of us, it'll be sure to show up. I'll be posting it in Facebook, Instagram. Follow me on all those places. Oh, and I have a big ask, you guys. I have a really big ask. So I am trying to get monetized over on my Facebook page. So if you have not followed the niche lady on Facebook, if you could just take a moment to do that, because I'm ever, ever so close to having my 10,000 followers that are needed over there. And I am posting new content that I don't post on YouTube. So it's not like you're going to see the same thing. I put different stuff on Facebook than I do on YouTube. So I would super appreciate a quick follow over there. Let's see if Francie answered me. Bluish, grayish, porcelain over glass. Okay, fantastic. We got you covered. Absolutely. Can you bring that crock and stool behind you when with you to Vegas? And I'll pick it up there. Crock. Oh, that that crock and that stool. Um. Um. Send me an email. Send. We could. Yeah, we could put it in the what now sale, or send me an email with your offer on it because we didn't actually sell it today. So that would make it a little difficult, but shoot me an offer at the niche lady at gmail.com. We could probably make that happen as long as we don't have to ship it. I do have a Facebook page. I do. I do. I do. Thank you so much. Simple things really super appreciate. I appreciate all of you. I want to thank my moderators ever so much. Sometimes I do these hairball crazy things like this and they are like, they just go along with it. And I know they probably think I am wackadoodle, but I am, but we make it work and we have a lot of fun and they are the best. So with that, everyone, I appreciate y'all being here and now you go be profitable and make it fun. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. I did a bad thing. I, uh, I got rid of something that I, I needed to show. So I'll do that. <laughs>